people have been killed after floods hit Sozoro and other communities in Isoko North local government area of Delta State. The internally displaced persons camp set up by the Delta State government has also been overwhelmed as the numbers of displaced people thronging it daily is on the increase. TVC Kenamechi tells us more. Several places in Ozoro, the Isoko North Council headquarters are underwater. Many streets have been abandoned and can be mistaken for a river. This canoe ferries patients to a popular clinic in this vicinity. Ozoro is not a riverine community. And because of the flood level here, the people have to use this canoe to move around. This place being a low land. Uh, all the waters from some of the quarters come here to settle down. It has hindered a lot of patients from coming to the clinic. Uh, people couldn't come to church. People cannot come to... Uh, the, the people will not be able to come to school. The hospital that they are seeing here too uh, is flooded. The police station in Ozoro is not spared as well. This lady, whose house has been overtaken by water, refused to leave her building for the IDP camp, yet she wants help like many others. It has not really been easy with us. We've been staying inside the house like that, wearing rain boots every day. We have swords on our leg because of the rain boot and uh, this uh, earthworm that usually enters somebody's toes. So we have been, that's how we have been living, just like destitutes. There are a lot of loss of crews and damages, like for instance, if you go to my house now, my chairs are already finished. The chairman of Isoko North Council has been handling the situation, but now has reached a breaking point. Virtually, most part of Ozora, the local government headquarters, has been affected by the flood. You can see for yourself. So at our own level, we are trying our best, but it's not something we can do at our own level. We are appealing to the federal government, to the state government, to come to our aid, especially the federal government. Ozora is an oil producing community, but you can see there is no federal presence. You can see what we are passing through. Children playing at the Alaka IDP camp as some of their parents who arrived today queue to register, adding to the more than a thousand already here. Though some failed to come here, leading to the death of two people in Lagos Iede and Ige. The state government is still asking those who live along flood-prone areas to vacate immediately. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Ozoro.